what a beautiful fall day it is. I don't remember the last time that it's been October 30th in Minnesota and there's no snow, it's 60 degrees out and an empty beach to myself. So I'm like a little kid in a candy store. Here we go. Well, first, first spot here. I'm not sure. Those are agate bands in there. It's kind of hard to see over the phone screen. And it looks like they are though. Kind of an odd, odd agate. But that might be the first one. Just a nice little guy. Well, I originally picked this one up because I thought it was some white sea glass, but it looked closer. And obviously turn it over. Got some nice little bands here. So I've been to this beach before. I like to walk the shores. Mostly small size agates along here, but soon I'm wearing my waders. I will wade into the water and see if we can find some bigger ones. Well, I've waded in and out of the water so far, down to the very end. I uh, picked up a few little guys. Finally saw a couple promising pieces. One right here, and one right there. This first one, looks like it's got some very dull water level bands there. This one, wow, that one's got some cool fractures in it. Not much banding, but I mean, that's definitely the outer husk of an agate, and I'm sure there's some bands deeply embedded in there, but it's probably two, two of the better finds so far on this beach. But we might wade this way, a river is formed, so we might make our way up that a little bit. I just pulled this rock out of the water. Never really seen anything like this. I know the, the sun doesn't help too much here, but kind of this splotchy red, red colors all in between, but it's a really pretty rock. So this might be one I take home and do something with again. I don't know what I would do with it, but I just think it's really pretty. So really cool. If anyone knows what that is, let me know in the comments. So as I'm making this loop, I realized like all this area, like right here used to be like dry and I'm starting to think and I mean I'm sure mother nature will eventually take over but this has gotten really thin since the last time I've been here so I'm curious how long it'll actually be rocks like this to pick from like a beach or to me from my understanding I thought fall time would be the water would be at its lowest or less so I might be wrong but I think that's kind of bizarre how, how high the water is or if this beach just eventually will no longer be but so right now I'm just kind of combing through this cliff figure this is probably where the most runoff was and any new exposed agates would come from here um fine it looks like I found just a nice little guy here some nice Fine little white bands in there. Still probably one of the nicer finds today. In this beach, I'm used to finding a lot of those little guys. Like you can find them all over. Like right there. And it's fun to do, but I'm, I'm kind of leaving those ones picked over and uh, leaving them for anyone who wants those and maybe hoping to find some decent sized ones. So probably stay here for a little bit longer and then maybe head up another beach. So this beach was actually probably one of the first beaches that I started coming to last year when I first started getting egg and hunting. And I would recommend coming to this one, specifically if you're new into rock hunting, specifically agates, because as I showed in some previous clips, there's a lot of little ones that are very just helpful to see what the characteristics of an agate are, whether the color, whether they're seeing some bands, whether they're seeing the, the glow from the sun or the, the conchoidal fractures. This is a great place to, to see the little ones, get a kind of feel for what the agates look like before you start looking for 
bigger ones. And that's not to say you can't find bigger ones here, but I think this is a great location to start. I am currently outside of Beaver Bay. Um, there's not really a sign to pull off here. You, you go across this bridge that I have on the background and there's a little like dirt pull off that you can pull off onto. And there's a trail that you walk down to this beach. So if there's any new hunters out there that are in the, the north woods of Minnesota, I would recommend coming here to start. So just thought I'd let you guys know that. Oh, look at those beautiful little bands in there. Size is hard to beat when you got beautiful, beautiful colors like that in there. Good find. So it looks like we might have a couple of pounds and pounds here. We've got a little bit of a nice nugget here. It's mostly just one that I stopped to pick up and see. Really no visible bands, but I mean, you got that smooth outer shell with some fractures. Still a couple of nice finds there. Okay, I just picked up a very strange rock. It's almost like black in color with that red bottom, but it's translucent. I can get a better angle. Maybe I'll have to show it better in the light, but it's translucent, it's see-through. So I don't know if that's some type of chalcedony with some like jasper in there, or, but I've never seen anything like that. I don't think it's an agate, I don't see any bands, but I'm curious if anyone else has seen anything black in color but translucent. Interesting. Well, as embarrassing as this is, I saw this color in the water. I was like, ooh, let's see what this rock is. And it's a giant lead pipe. I hope I'm not in the real life version of the game Clue. But I don't know, Couldn't, no idea what it's from. It does look decently old, like it's been there for a while. So, but I don't know if that's could be from a ship or not. It'd be cool if it was. And I hope that is what it is, but yep. I thought it was a rock. Oh well. <laughs> you know, I see some of the bands on that one. Wow. Holy, what a weird pattern. Wow, that one is really cool. That's got some. I don't know the best angle to get all these. I can sound better at home, but would you look at that? What a cool pattern. So you can still find some beautiful, beautiful agates right on these shores. Awesome, this one just made it worth it. All right. Not too sure with that rock is. That's a pretty, pretty looking color. second part of the beach just walked around this big old chunk of rock cover this little area and then uh, call it a day oh I came up here because there's a piece of sea glass that I now lost so I'm bummed about because I like green sea glass for my sea art and literally I don't know how I didn't see this glower oh my gosh Okay, but now that is the one that made it all worth it. Are you kidding me? Look at that band definition. Unbelievable. That is gorgeous. Wow, that just made the whole trip. All the other ones are beautiful too, but this one, this one did the justice. That is some of the most fine banding I've found on some of these agates. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go. Well, I think we're gonna call it a day. We found a lot of great finds. 
a lot of small ones, so I'm probably not going to do a close-up visual of all the rocks I found. I'll just take a couple of the cool ones that I liked. I'll get them wet in the water here, and I'll, I'll show them for you all to see. But other than that, thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you next video.